Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean Till the End of Time. Now, off screen I did do a few things. Kinda. Basically, well, I, did, I didn't do just kinda, I did a lot of things. Um, I couldn't level grind on the save file I left off on. So I reloaded the save file before Crowsill. Try to get my water, there we go. And uh, went around level grinding, and money grinding, and making stuff. So, I was able to level up my character a little bit. Not a lot, until only level 36. I think I left off at like level 30-ish? Last set? Something like that. I also worked on leveling up Mitsuki, so she's got... Um, she's a bit stronger, she has some new abilities, which is great, because I love her character. She's really good to have, in my opinion. Now, I did learn something new about this game. Think about that! This is a PS2 era game, like mid-early PS2 game. And I'm still learning new things about this game. Specifically, how to refine equipment. I would show you how to do it if I had a um, workshop nearby, but since we don't, eh. But I was able to create the Ring of Uteration, Uteration, whatever. And um, as you can see, this increases my EXP gain rate. Originally it was about 10%, I think it was. But after I was able to refine it, it was able to go up to 20%. 20%. Doing this refinement stuff, by the way, takes a lot of freaking money. Um, I was also able to create a clone generator, uh, Revision 4. So, it's pretty good. Basically, I, um... Oh, I'm around it now. Um, there is a... Uh, original plan and a... Spe uh, sp uh, specified plan. Specified plans are refining equipment, making them stronger, better, faster. American Dream, stuff like that. Um, only works on some items though, not all of them can be done. Like, I couldn't do it with, like, say, the Holy Sword, which really sucks. But, since I had a lot of clone generators, I was able to use those to create this. This means that if she gets inca incapacitated, she'll be brought back to life. And there's a 40% chance that I this item will break. But, there is a 60% chance it won't break. So that's good to have. Um, because of this, I was, I was able to make a few of these. I have them on a few characters. So much not on party anymore. But besides the point, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that type of stuff. I, I like learning new things. That's what I did with this ring as well, how I got to 20%. Uh, with this combined with the Gutsy Bunny, or uh, Gutsy Idol, what it's called? Gutsy Bunny. I would be able to gain even more EXP, which is what I did do. Um, basically, I had Nell, or Nexus. Um, freeze the enemy that had gave me a good, a decent amount of EXP. I then shatter them, and just repeat the fight over and over and over again. And uh, I was able to get uh, three times the EXP as well. So that plus 20% plus the extra EXP from the gutsy bunny, I gained a lot of EXP pretty quickly. Um, I could probably have uh, gotten bored and level grinded even more, but I had other products I needed to do. In case you didn't know, for the past couple of days, for those of you new to the channel, or not new to the channel, those of you watching the channel as these come out. I've been uploading a lot of Darksiders 2 uh, side videos. That's That was occupying most of my time. But, enough of that bull crap. Let's get to the game, which you guys are here for. Alright, so we need to go to, I think, the front desk? Where was that? Yeah. We're behind schedule on our objective to secure Dr. Line God. Let's proceed as planned to point S317. All hands stand by. Right! Wait, wait a second. Secure Dr. Line God? So you know where my father is? That's right. He's being held in a cave on a planet located at point S317. It's been cleverly disguised, but it's a secret Vendini base, no doubt. A secret base? How do you know about it, then? Don't underestimate Quark's information network. We'll be entering Gravitic Warp at once. Go sit over there. Oh, okay. Set a course to point S317 via gravitic warp. Break out of orbit with one quarter thrust. Okay, 
breaking out of orbit with one quarter thrust. So fancy. Guys, I love these cutscenes. It looks so great. Even though it's pretty much, uh, pretty close to standard graphics nowadays. Like, seriously, I think I have a game that looks like this. Just normally. We need more space games. I mean, Mass Effect, I mean, just more space games in general. I would play the ever-loving hell out of a space, a space exploration game. I was thinking about doing Mass Effect, but uh, not 100% certain on that yet, so... If you guys want to see a Mass Effect playthrough, just feel free to tell me. I'd love to, I'd love to try it out. I've been told I'd love it. And this is the end of this, uh, disc one normally. But we're on the HD game. Out of orbit. Engage Gravitic Warp. Engaging Gravitic Warp. Our long-range sensors have picked up a ship. Fast approaching. Ship registration? It's the Aqua Ellie, a Federation battleship. A battleship? What is a Federation battleship doing out here? Could they be after us? Incoming transmission. Full stop. Display the transmission on screen. Roger. Roger. This is Commodore Whitcomb of the Federation ship Aqua Ellie. Okay. We find out the guy's name in his introduction video. Or his uh, first dialogue box. Do you really need the question marks? Seriously. It's an honor to meet you all. Likewise. I would never have expected to meet Commodore Whitcomb, star officer of the Federation fleet, in these parts. <laughs> I'm flattered you'd remember my name. But first things first, that's Dr. Line God's son standing behind you, correct? Yes, it is. Well, what I'm about to say will no doubt come as a surprise. There's no time for details now, so I'll be brief. Go on. A Vendini ship is approaching you. Our analysts believe they will not attack, so we expect the same of you. None of us want there to be any hostilities. What are you talking about? How could you possibly know that the Vendini will not attack? Because... Captain, our sensors have picked up the Vendini ship. They're sending out a transmission. Switch signals. This is Captain Bewig of the Vendine Empire ship Dasvanu. Okay, hold on a second. I know I'm nitpicking a lot during this cutscene, but this is the future. We have teleportation. Ships that can go intergalactic, tra intergalactic travel in, you know, mere hours, even seconds, depending on, some, on how far the system is. Teleporters. Ray guns. Intergal er, universal translators. Can you really not have a screen? That shows both people open at the same time? Seriously! Like, okay, uh, open up a second screen, play his, uh, open his transmission. Now you have the Federation over here, the Vendini over here. Seriously! You're in the future! Sorry. Surrender immediately and submit to our orders. How about I bash your head in with a frying pan? Nice to meet you, too. Dr. Lineguard, enemy of the galaxy, and the girl are in our hands. You are in no position to refuse our demand. Dad! Sophia! What do you want with my father? We have but a single demand. You must exchange Line God's son for Dr. Line God. Exchange me for my father? And the method of exchange? I suppose we don't trust one another enough to transport them between our ships. Obviously not. We will reach your location in a few minutes. Further orders will be issued at that point. You will stand by until then. 
the cojones on this guy. Jeez. This isn't, you know, we'll tell you what we want later on. We request to stand by. No. We will tell you what to do when we get there, and you will stand by. You are a dick of the highest caliber. Marietta, encrypt our signal to the Aquaeli. Done. I heard everything. So that's the situation. Dr. Leingard's safety is paramount. As long as they hold him, we are unable to attack. I suppose you're right. Commodore, just how much do the Federation and Vendini really know? About what? Don't play dumb with me. You wouldn't be trying to get Dr. Leingard, let alone Fate, unless you had some sort of information on them. I suspect our intentions are not that different from your own. As for the Vendini, I'm not sure what they want. But I do have my suspicions. I see. So, what you gonna do? You gonna give him up without a fight? You gotta be kidding! I still have things I wanna ask my father! Don't worry, Fate. I won't let them have you or your father. I won't stand for that. Maria. As long as you can secure Dr. Leingard, the Aqua Eli will be able to deal with the Vendini ship. The timing of the hostage exchange will be key. No doubt they will specify a neutral location for the exchange. I'm not sure what we'll do then. It's kind of obvious, really. We're going to be in a neutral territory. Probably on a planet or someplace like nearby like that. Probably going back to the planet. Um, we're going to make the exchange of the planet and then teleport back up. While Fate, Ananza, and Dad are on the planet, blow up the Vendini ship! You have two ships capable of, you know, fighting. It's not that difficult! We'll have to think of something. Think of something? We'll be flying by the seat of our pants. Bear in mind something real quickly before I get on to this. It's been years, and I mean years, like high school for me. This is the last time I played this game. I don't remember a bloody thing after this. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of blind here. Not much else we can do. We've no time and the cards are stacked against us. Just the sort of situation you like, isn't it, Cliff? Suppose so, but... Give it your best shot. I placed it in your hands. Also, why are you so freaking close to the camera? Seriously, dude. Seriously. I can see what you had for breakfast in your beard. Well, we aren't doing this for you, you know. Nevertheless, Dr. Leingott and the boy must not fall into Vendini hands. I just realized I'd be horrible in, you know, negoti uh, hostage negotiation situations like this. Because I'd be criticizing them because they're too close to the freaking camera. Right. I imagine it will not be much longer until we arrive. Sit tight until then. All right. Best of luck to you. We have to help my father, no matter what it takes. I know. Remember, I have some unfinished business with him. We won't fail to free your father. <laughs> I can hardly wait. I'm glad you're on my side. You know it. Hope Sophia's holding up well. This has to be hard on her. Captain, we're receiving a transmission from the Dasvanu. On screen. The exchange will take place on the planet you are orbiting. On Elacor? Prepare to transport down. And no heroics. The Dasvanu sent the coordinates. 147.5834 34.8874 Location? Right away. Hey, isn't that... <laughs> oh, yeah. You've been there? Yep, sure have.
Transport at the specified time. And I repeat, no heroics. Can I be villainous then? Understood. We'll hold you to that as well. We'll exchange fate for Dr. Leingott and the Esteed's daughter. That's the deal. Yes, that is the deal. We can only transport six at a time. Their capacity shouldn't be any different. Most likely. Well, I guess six should be enough. Remember, they've got my father. Whatever you do, be careful. You're such a worrywart. Put a little more trust in me. I trust you. I really do. It's just... Don't worry. It'll be okay. Believe me. We'll get everyone back safely. Maria. Okay. Mirage, prepare to transport us down. Roger, Captain. I'll go with you. Hey, Stieg, you're coming too. Yes, sir. Landcar, you read me? Sup, Maria. Ready three combat personnel, equipment level A. You pick the team. They'll transport down with us. Level A? This must be serious. It is. Our suits are no match for the disruptor rifles the Vendini use, but they're better than nothing. Got it. I'll have them ready ASAP. I'm counting on you. What is it? Nothing. I was just thinking, you really are Quark's leader. Not too sharp, are you? I've been telling you that from the start. I know, it's just that... Yeah, whatever. There's still some time before we transport down, so you're free until then. There's nothing I need you for right now. I'll make an announcement when it's time to go. Okay. Is that Meryl's voice actress from Dragon? Seriously, uh, Mithuki sounds just like her. I'm just sitting here like, she sounds so bloody familiar. Where is she from? We are supposed to talk to everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and just skim through all this crap. That's down there. <laughs> oh yeah, there are two dots on the map. The map, map shows me all the stuff I need to know. Alright. Nope. Seriously, I want a more um, futuristic games like this. Futuristic RPGs, there we go. And I seriously am thinking about doing a uh, Mass Effect series playthrough. I've never played any of it. So, we'll see. I know, I know it's a big thing, that a lot of people love the series. one of those games that uh, I never had a chance to get into. I was into Dragon Age. Because, uh, in case you can tell from my channel, with my five Let's Plays of it. Five Let's Plays? No, hold on. There was the first time I played Dragon Age 2. I think I played all three, two or three times for the channel. So yeah, I played it a lot. And actually I have plans of doing it again. Much future, m much, much future though. We'll see. That'll pretty much be a, a game that, uh, I, that, that'll pretty much be a let's play where I'm going, I have nothing else to put up. I'm just going to go to Dragon Age. That's pretty much what that's going to be. So. I do really wish that, um, games, especially like this, had more, uh, costumes that you could wear. Like, you know, I could, I could equip um, armor from them and whatnot. The Diplo crew. Oh yeah, before I get something, I was going to mention this earlier. The ring I mentioned I got, the ring of uh, uteration, uh, uteration, whatever. 
Um, hold on. A lot of guides I say I've seen say or say you you need three specific people to make it. If you don't get those three, you can't make it. But um, the fun thing is, one of those characters is him. Or is it Gusto? Yeah, it's Gusto. I think it is. But um, one of the characters we haven't unlocked yet to get. So you can actually make a lot of stuff without the spe specified characters. It's just easier with those characters. Alright. Alright. Take me down! I've talked to everyone. Talk to the Miski again. I don't see anything. Let's see what it says. After the uh, after swap watch. I'll have to do swap. Uh, watch the scene when you finally have control again. Speak to virtually everyone on the ship along the way. Before you even finish, you're likely to be interrupted by a transmission. No? No, we're still uh, we still have to go. Try and get that transmission to trigger, but it's not triggering. There it is. It's a time thing. Okay. It's time everyone meet for the transport room. Okay. The talking thing is just a way to kill time. Yeah. All right. We want to save one last time. Oh, a lot of dots down there. Onwards and downwards. I'm gonna try and record for an hour this time. That way we can have a bit of a longer set. Oh yeah, you ready to go? I'm ready. I see everyone's here. All right, let's go. You've got the bridge, Mirage. Roger. <laughs> let's do it. Good luck. See you soon. If something happens, you have command of the Diplo. Understood. Well, let's just hope nothing happens. My thoughts exactly. We'll be back shortly. Take care. Stay sharp, and keep an eye on the captain. Hmm? Is someone there? I think it's Nell, or Nexus. Jammer. Hand over the boy, now. What do you mean? I thought we had a deal. <laughs> Did you? Your equipment suggests otherwise. 
You Federation scum are always up to dirty tricks. It'd be plain stupid to come unprepared. Besides, we're not from the Federation. What's the difference? Hey, boy, get over here. you take the boy alive kill the rest well that's just rude it's like an even match ow we're going dang that's a lot of damage dang it cliff try to kick him Come on. There we go. I have my sidekick combo equipped again. It was how, that's how I killed Crosso so quickly. Seems you underestimated us. It would appear so. Fate! Fate! The tables have turned, B-Wig. <laughs> What's so funny, Baghead? You're the only one left. Something's being transported down. How's that possible? There's a transport jammer here. <laughs> Fools! Our technology only blocks who we want it to block. We can bring down as many reinforcements as we need. Run for it! After them! Don't let them get away! Sophia? Don't worry. I just tripped. Let me see your leg. Why didn't you tell me you were hurt? Must have been hit in that fight back there. You guys hide here. I'll try to draw them away. What, alone? I'll be fine. I can handle these guys. Her injury is going to slow you down. I've spotted one! Over here! Show me where you're hurt. Huh? Oh, right here. It doesn't look too bad. We'll fix you up in no time once we get back to the Diplo. I know it hurts, but hang in there a bit longer. Okay, thanks. The transport jammer should have about a two kilometer radius of effect, right? That's the Federation spec, but the Vendini technology is more advanced. No doubt it has an even greater area of effect. It will be hard getting clear of it. If we try to run, they'll only come after us. We have to make a stand. You've grown, Fate. Let's talk it over with Cliff when he gets back. Okay. In the meantime, Dad, there's something I have to ask you. So you finally found out.
But you must understand. I never once thought of you as a tool for my research. You were born because your mother and I always wanted a child. Well then, tell us why! How could you treat your own child like a guinea pig? By the way, who is she? This is Maria. Maria Trador. She's the leader of Quark, the Anti-Federation group. Maria... Trador? Trador? You perform genetic engineering on her, just like you did to me. Uncle Robert? Genetic engineering? What? So that means you're... I see. That's why your last name is... Trador. Explain yourself, Dr. Line God. I think we have the right to know. Dad, tell us why. Why did you do it, Dad? Why did you manipulate our genes? I did it. For the sake of our universe. Our universe? That's quite a grand scale. How could modifying our genes have anything to do with the universe? But it's the truth. I performed symbological genetic engineering on you because of a force that would one day threaten all we know. Threaten all we know? I don't expect you to believe me right here and now. It's a long story. I'll explain everything once we get out of here. Just be patient. Is that all? You think we'll accept that poor excuse for an explanation? Maria. That's not what I wanted to hear! I'm sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. What happened? It's nothing, really. Okay. I've cleared out all the enemies in the immediate area, but we can't waste any time. I'm sure they'll keep calling in reinforcements. And there are still Vendini soldiers here and there. Seems to be no end to them. They're like roaches. I think we should destroy the jammer. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance. We'll be picked off one by one. What do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion. Hmm. Seems we have no other choice. Maria to Diplo. I'm here. That B-Wig's using a new type of transport jammer. We're going to destroy it. Be ready to transport us up as soon as we do. Cannot comply. What's wrong? We're under attack by the Dasvanu. Our hands are full just staying alive. Incoming transports at this time would be... What happened to the Aguaeli? It should have been here by now. They're being blocked by another Vendini ship. They need a little more time. Where's Mirage? She's on damage control. Leave her and Lancar are with her. All right. Find some way to hold out until the Aquaeli arrives. We'll do our best. I should have known the Vendini would have prepared for this. Hey, if the Vendini are engaged, maybe they're also too busy to use their transporters. Yeah, there's a good chance of that. If so, then they've got all the soldiers they're going to get. Let's take out their jammer then. In the meantime, let's just hope the Aqua Ellie shows up to lend a hand. Relying on the Federation sticks in my craw, but I guess we have no other choice. It's gonna be tough, you two. But hang in there. Let's go. Oh boy! A lot going on. Let's heal up. Save. There you go. That just looks three. Okay. Let's go! 
have to get back down to uh, ground floor so we can use the elevator in the back to get up to the top. Uh, the stairs are this way, I believe. No. Yes? No. We need to go this way. I think. Dang it, I don't remember where we need to go. I am kind of glad I saved though, just in case. Oop. Is it this that stairs down? Yeah. So the Waltz have been to the, uh, uh, Costa Training Facility. Well, it's been a while for you guys. I was here a while ago. Mm. I have a ring that can destroy stuff. Let me use it. I see the stairs. Here, up here, to the left, and down. There aren't a lot of enemies in here. I guess the one the Vendini would have been everywhere. Like the uh, soldiers were. Alright, we need to wrap around to the left. Can I go this way? I can. What's the license I just got? Hey there. Anti capacitation? Really? Later. Hmm. I'm looking at that later. Yeah, Silk Road. It's not a robe, it's a cape! There's a distinct difference! Let's keep going. Oh yeah, by the way, to refine material, material or a uh, gear to make better stuff, you need this stuff. And I'm going back to that, but I'm going to mention this quickly. For the longest time, I had no clue what these materials and ingredients were for. Really. Not entirely. But when I found out, I was like, oh, of course. I, thought having, I, I, I honestly thought just having more of them increased your odds to make something better. Now that you need them to uh, refine stuff. I was a freaking idiot! I do also believe that we could technically leave and uh, go to shops and whatnot, but screw that noise. Right. There should be a save point up here. Yeah, there it is. This actually is a good time to level grind, too. Just, um, go to one of those places with the HP healing bolt, uh, platform. And just run on it, heal up, go out, fight a few times, come back, and just rinse and repeat. Oh, well. It's now or never. Let's do it. After all this time, she still hasn't buttoned up her pants. Jeebus. You fought well. I'll give you that. However, it all ends here. Hand over the boy now. I will say it once more. Resistance is futile. I can keep calling in reinforcements. No matter how many of my soldiers you defeat, there is no escape. <laughs> Seriously, if I was that stooge right behind him, I'd go like, wait, what? I I'm not can fodder, mate. I'm just here to, you know, support my family. Screw you! Now shoot him in the knee. My girl! That's because of this thing! Side note, I do believe if I did certain other actions, this would be someone else. I believe that if I, um, slept in the bed 
in fraternity, whatever it's called, Albel would showed up to help me. And if I did it somewhere else, Roger would have showed up to help me. Because there are certain events that will cause uh, certain characters to come back to your party. Since I did neither of the things that were required for the other two, Nexus returns. What? How the... I think that did the trick. What the heck was it anyway? Now! Damn you! What the... Wing. Destruction of our transport jammer means nothing. Our battleship can crush your flagship at any time. Captain, are you okay? What is going on? Where are the reinforcements? What? The Aquaeli? Oh, I just noticed something. Look at the transport jammer. On the uh, right, upper right side, the waves that were supposed to go to, to jam the thing, it's frozen there. Wow. Looks like a cone. It's weird. Damn! Pull us out now! Dasvanu, transport us up! Thanks. That was close. No problem. I'm just glad we're in time. Lay off the coffee, Liber. You're too perky. 